It only takes three minutes to get to Mars. <laughs> hey, curious kids, Kevin here. Today on A Place Called Space, we are going to talk about how long it takes to get to Mars. Have you ever wondered? Well, today you're gonna to find out. So it depends. Are you a human? Are you a robot? Hello, I am C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations. Or are you light? Let's start with light. The speed of light is 300,000 kilometers a second or 186,000 miles per second. That's the speed limit in space, the fastest we can go. So Earth and Mars both orbit the sun. But Earth is going around faster than Mars, so they aren't always on the same side. Being on the same side of the sun together is called being at opposition. The way I remember that word is because they're close together, like two opponents facing off. Opposition. When they are on the opposite sides of the sun, it's called being at conjunction. This is when they are the furthest away, so we don't want to try to go to Mars then. So back to opposition when Earth and Mars are the closest. They are 55 million kilometers or 34 million miles apart. Not too close, but that's close in space. And traveling at light speed of 300,000 kilometers a second, it would only take you three minutes to get to Mars. That's not too shabby, but we cannot travel at light speed. Nope, humans and robots can't, only light can. So sorry, what you've seen in the movies is not real. Now humans and robots, how fast can we travel and how long does it take to get to Mars? Well, Mars and Earth line up at opposition every 26 months. So we have to wait for that to happen to launch because we don't want to launch when we're far away. And since we can't travel at light speed and they're both moving around the sun, we need to plan. So it's like throwing a football. Right? We have to throw or launch our rover where Mars will be so that they get to the same point at the same time together, like a wide receiver catching a football pass. For robots, like the Mars rover here, it takes them six to nine months depending on how much they weigh and what rocket they use to get to Mars. The latest rover, Perseverance, is taking seven months to reach Mars. It launched at 25,000 miles per hour and is currently traveling at 60,000 miles per hour. Now, Perseverance will travel about 470 million kilometers or 300 million miles to get to Mars. Now, that's a lot longer than an opposition because Mars and Earth are both moving. We have to throw that touchdown pass to make sure our rover lands in the right spot. Okay, now on to humans. Now, first off, humans have never been to Mars. Ah, 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 ah. Yet, but we're planning on it. I was part of a few teams at NASA tasked to figure it out. The current thought is six to nine months. <laughs> That's the same as robots. The fastest that we've gone as humans so far is about 25,000 miles per hour. And that was when we went to the moon. Now, NASA is building a new, bigger and stronger rocket to take us there. It needs to be bigger and stronger because humans need things like a home. We need food, we need water. Unlike robots that don't need any of that. So we will weigh more altogether. So we need that big rocket to launch us and get us up to speed. Now, Kevin, when is this going to happen? When do we have humans on Mars? Well, the studies say sometime between 2030 and 2050. That's a big gap. Yes, it is a big range because we have a lot of work to do, so many things to figure out. Now, on to trivia. The answer to last week's question of what is the name of the asteroid NASA just sampled is C. Bennu. NASA used Osiris Rex to take a sample from asteroid Bennu and is bringing it back to Earth. Now, this week's trivia question is, what do you call two full moons in a month? Is it A, double full moon, B, blue moon, C, extra moon, or D, never happens? 
Tune in next week to get your answer. Always be curious.